Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a very easy DIY minimal sconce or pendant lamp. It's super simple, you can do this in less than a day and it's perfect if you have a small room such as myself. So let's get started. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to start off with these brackets by Ikea. They're wooden. You can spray paint them whatever color. If you're going to do black, just get the black. You're also going to need the cord set and of course some spray paint. I went with a white glossy spray paint. Whenever you're planning to do a little bit of spray painting, I would recommend doing it outside. That way you're not breathing in the spray paint. And grab an old bandana or a mask and just cover your nose and your mouth. So we're going to start off with two coats of spray paint. I really like this one by Valspar because the mist is super fine. That way you're not going to get a bunch of blobs all over your project. When you're spray painting, make sure you get all those nooks and crannies. That way the whole bracket is going to be covered with the spray paint. Once you're done with one side and it's completely dried up, flip it over and you're going to do the same two coats of spray paint just to make sure everything is white or whatever color that you choose. And now that everything's dry, let's attach it to the wall. If your room happens to have drywall like mine does, you're going to have to do a few more steps before actually attaching it to the wall. If your room doesn't have it, then you can skip all of these steps, but I will leave a link down below for a tutorial that explains it a lot better than this one because I just did it really quickly. And once you attach the bracket to the wall, all you have to do is just drape the cord around the bracket. There's really no right or wrong way to drape the cord over the brackets, all up to you and your preferences. Since I had my makeup area right below the lamp, I didn't want it to drape down so low. So I kept it up high and just looped it around a few times until I liked it. And in case you want to replicate the same loop, you're going to start off with just looping it once through the middle. Now you can adjust the length of the cord. The cord is really, really long, FYI. <laughs> so I ended up looping four times in total. And it's a very easy cord to work with, I find. And it, once you have it looped around, you can just leave it as is. It's not going to move around. Or you can just experiment and like move it around if you want to. It's all up to you. To have both lamps turn off and on at the same time, just buy a power strip and plug it into the correct outlet and then it's going to work just fine. And that's pretty much it for this DIY tutorial. I told you it was very, very easy. There's plenty of other places where you can buy the cord from. I know West Elm has like metallic ones. And I will leave all those links down below in case you're interested. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. If you do this DIY, don't forget to share it with me on Instagram by using the hashtag Laura Newsip DIY. Thank you so much for watching once again. Subscribe if you haven't done so and I will see you guys very soon. This is a really, really inexpensive product. It costs $3. You can find it at Walmart or Target. And it's by e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Smudge Pot in Cruisin' Chic, which I'm wearing today. 